you are responsible. The corrupted Arab leadership in the Arab world is responsible. Mm -hmm. The Arab community in the United States is responsible. We played. We were the partners for this destruction. We must not take out the responsibility out of the Palestinians. We are responsible also for the destruction of Palestine. People lost hope and I'm not going to pretend here to color the situation in different colors than it is. It's dark. No hope in Palestine. To blame is not to complain. To blame is to acknowledge the failure, the defeat, is to be able to correct. If you're going to keep blaming the occupation for everything happens to the Palestinian people, you're going to end up the situation we are today. Being anti-Zionist doesn't mean being anti-Jewish. When I was a student in the Jewish school, in, in my studies, I studied Jabotinsky and Gordon. And the, they all spoke about being us Jews as a wall protecting the West uh, in front of this barbaric Islamic world. We are the barriers. We are going to create a European white society in this dark black Levantinos uh, areas. Anti-Zionism is uh, making the place uh, big enough for both uh, nations living together, not in coexistence, in existence. Apartheid relationship is the essence of Zionism. Mm -hmm. It's the separation the ideology was the foundations of the Zionist movement. Now would they have the good timing to implement it physically on the ground yeah. by uh, building uh, roads for Jews, roads for Arabs, by the wall and the electric fences, they creating on the ground this separation. We are in a situation today that uh, not only the political and the economical infrastructure was destroyed, Israel is destroying the neurological system of this society, which is culture, identity, communication. Our identity as Palestinians was targeted, not only our cultural centers, not only the villages and the electricity, the identity. Us to blame. They were busy making money, mm. not, not teaching my children what would happen when I will be attacked with this big war machine by the Israelis and they're going to put this mask on my face and saying that I was genetically born terrorist and I want to look for the virgin in the sky, this is why I want to kill Jews. What am I going to do with this? I'm going to go blow buses in Tel Aviv? Or I'm going to fight it with poetry, theater? Or I'm going to penetrate the Israeli propaganda? I'm going to be tactical enough, strategically enough to know what I'm doing with your public opinion in the States? Nothing was done. We thought that uh, by creating a project which will deal with arts, with cinema, with theater, with uh, multimedia activities, computers, websites, is the best way to fight this deconstruction of identity of the Palestinian, mm. which is deliberately done for the last year by the Israelis. I think Israel uh, is pushing back the Palestinian people into the Stone Age. I'm calling for your support. Uh, we need support. Well, this is my uh, last words. Uh, to make this happen, to give us, the Palestinians, the tools to, re to this new research, or to building, this new building up our identity and our, our nation, is first, practically, supporting the Freedom Theater, supporting Ibda Center, supporting Al Hakawati, Al Kasaba theaters, supporting the Palestinian in an active way, not sitting in these rituals, these courses, endless discussions, and to get out of the fear. We've been busted by fear. We have to stand up again on our feet. We are now living on our knees.